Hi, boys and girls, and welcome to the return of... Watching and tell stories. I'm William D. Cheryl. The show is called Storytime with William D. Cheryl. That's a pretty good voice, don't you think? It's a new one. Because if you remember that voice from the great beyond, the original one we had was kind of... He kind of... Well, I hate everything William stands for. Why do I feel like they've done that before on some kind of show? I don't... It just reminds me of something. Anyways, boys and girls... Now that we are back, I think right now is a good time for me to tell you that the show for a while was kind of on hiatus. I'm not really supposed to mention why. Hello? Hey Theodore, it's Will. Oh, hey, what's up? Hey, um, I, I hate to do this to you, but I think I have to go on strike with the show. You're joking. No, I'm not, um... The whole Writers Guild is going on strike. You're not even part of the Writing Guild. Um, I think if I do, I might get in. Whatever. You're lost. What? I don't think that matters much anymore anyways. Because the show is back. And it's going to be better than ever. You know why, kids? Because I know all of you are still going to watch it. And you're going to tell your friends, and they're going to watch it. Plus, I am going to make sure that episodes are amazing. So moving on to the first activity of the day. The word of the day, which for today is hermaphrodite. Hermaphrodite is, well, a boy, a girl, kind of a mix. You know, if you were to take a boy and a girl, put them in a blender, and kind of spin them together, although blenders are very messy. Um... Moving right along to a joke of the day for today. This joke right here that I've got. I picked this one out myself from a very old email from an email account that doesn't exist anymore. And I saved it to my old computer, which died. And then I put it on my new computer. Anyways, here's the joke. <clears throat> Three dogs were at a crossroads in their life. They decided to play truth or dare. Dog one dared dog two to give dog three a dirty Sanchez. Just as do the dog went to do this to dog three, he pulled out a Tommy gun and said woof and shot the other two dogs. <laughs> I get it. Woof. <laughs> Moving right along to something from the news in our news segment. This just in. Nude beaches swarmed with rapists. Unfortunately for these rapists, the only people at the beach were other rapists. Police have decided they would wait to see what happens. I would wait too. That might be something entertaining to watch. Hopefully someone like has a video camera and is, is, is going to upload it on YouTube. Perhaps. We'll see. Maybe. I don't know. Where are new beaches? Anyways, moving along to my favorite part of the day. And... Hopefully yours. What's it called, boys and girls? 
That's not what it's called. So, since it's been a while since we've done the show, perhaps I have to refresh. It's called The Big Book of Wonders. And that's what we're doing now, so here we go! I thought we were going to get rid of The Big Book of Wonders because it is the most retarded thing on this damn show. Hi, boys and girls, and welcome back. Wasn't that a amazing story? I think it was. Moving right along to a new thing that we're going to start doing on this show from now on. Or we're going to test run it for this week. And then it'll probably be back next week. Because, I don't know. I just have a feeling. And it is called The Debacle Situation. That's right. This segment is clearly for debating with other people on, you know, things that we might need to debate on. And with an upcoming election, I think we have many topics that we can cover. So, introducing my esteemed guest to debacle with. Let's go. I believe child abuse is bad because it is noted as illegal. Would you like to retort? Yeah, I would. Um, I say child abuse is bad because... Wait... I say it's bad because it can traumatize a kid for the rest of their life. And people would think of them as a freak because they're always just like, eh, or whatever they're like after it happens. Some people have different things happen to them afterwards. So that's why I don't approve of child abuse. Top that. You can't debate against child abuse. Why not? Because you have to debate for it. Uh, I don't, I don't agree with that, though. Doesn't matter. You're saying I'm supposed to fight a cause for something that I don't agree with? Yes. Forget that, you do it. No way! Then I win. You, no, you don't. I win, case closed. Goodbye. You suck. My show, I win. Goodbye. Security. <sighs> Whack jobs, right? Anyways, moving along to an interview. This week, I have something different in store for you. This week, I am going to be interviewed by someone. And this special someone is someone I've had on the show before. He's a great friend. And other stuff. I mean, it's not like he told me I, he had to be on the show. Thank you for having me, William. How are you? Good, and yourself? I'm mad. You are? Why is that? Because I want to ask the questions, remember? I'm sorry, I'm just so used to being the one that does these interviews that I guess I got sidetracked. F you. Wait, don't. This isn't going to go over too well with the producers at all. Moving along to <clears throat> problem solving. With William D. Cheryl. And that's me. One train leaves New York at 2.15. Going 35 miles an hour. While another train leaves. Going Gotham City at 4 p.m. 
going 130 miles an hour. Which train will reach Alaska first? Well, there's something very simple about this, folks. New York is not a real city. It's imaginary. Gotham City, on the other hand, that is a real city. So, with that said, Gotham, the one that leaves Gotham City, going 125 miles, is more likely to reach Alaska first, because it is, in fact, a real place. Let's move along, boys and girls, shall we? To a phone call. We haven't had one of those in a while, even while the show was still going, before the little break. So let's just have one. Hello? Hey. Like, I can't believe I yeah, this I is William D. Cheryl. Mm -hmm. so oh. Yeah, really? William's not I here right now. Like Please oh, leave a message I after the beep. Beep! Well, have you put it in me? Whichever way you like it, I don't care. I don't <laughs> Well, that was that was a great phone call, don't you think? I do. So let's end the show this week. Blah blah, we're done. Not even gonna like recap because I'm too happy. So see you next time on Story Time with William D. Cheryl, and that's me.